So it's tax day, y'all. This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. So if you live in the United States, you know that today is the day that you need to get your taxes in. I've done mine. This was a hard one to be knowing how much of your money was going to pay for the things that are going on in the world right now. So two weeks ago, there's this missile attack in Syria on an air base. Last week, this Moab, this mother of all bombs, massive ordnance air blast was dropped in Afghanistan. I was weirded out by Donald Trump's response. Did anybody catch that? This is him. Everybody knows exactly what happened, so, and what I do is I authorize my military. We have the greatest military in the world, and they've done a job. So we've given them total authorization, and that's what they're doing. And frankly, that's why they've been so successful lately. It's a little non-committal, like, you know, what is it like, and they've done a job? Like, not they've done a good job, not they're doing a great job. They've done a job. So we've given them total authorization. What does that mean? I don't know. The response has me feeling a little, it has my stomach feeling a little queasy. I don't know about anybody else. So then over the weekend, Mike Pence is in Korea, mouthing off at North Korea, saying that the US is willing to use military force. North Korea is jumping bad back with the US. I don't know, it's sounding a little scary to me. I know that we need to come together around the threats to our society. I don't know, it's a little bit like threatening to burn down the house because your kids stayed out all night. Feels a little much, but that's just me. So both Margaret from Mod Vegan and Karen from The Lost Lemurian have done reviews of the movie Carnage by Simon Amstel. It's a movie about a world gone vegan. I actually haven't watched Karen's review yet because I was a little nervous about spoilers. I watched the film. It was actually available on YouTube here in the US. I noticed that it is available through the BBC if you live in the UK. I'm not sure how you get your hands on it if you're not either in the US or the UK, but if you do know, please leave some information in the comment section. For those in the US, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I really enjoyed the film. I especially liked how the filmmaker makes the point uh, about the importance of culture in shifting the way people in society think. I mean, there's this flooding, there's these diseases that are being spread, and people are still so resistant to change. Does that remind you of anything? But it seems like the filmmaker is making this point that culture plays a great role in how people are ultimately able to change their thinking about animals as people. There were also undertones of feminism. It talks subtly about race. Also, one of the major characters is likely Muslim, so there's even a subtle hint about Islam in there. I thought the film was very clever and well done, and I highly recommend it. I haven't watched it with any non-vegans yet, so I'm looking forward to that. So a funny thing happened in my comments section. There was a comment from someone asking about Black Lives Matter. And so, you know, people were recommending that they go to the website if they were interested in learning about it. And this is the response that came. Learn a controversial topic by their website. What a joke. L-M-F-A-O, is it really that hard to answer? If it isn't, then answer for me. Now this cracks me up because obviously if you wanna learn about an organization, going to their website is probably a good place to start. I certainly wouldn't think asking people in the comments section on a channel of a person that you don't necessarily agree with is the best way to get information that you're going to find credible. And YouTube is a website, y'all. You know, I just think people need to think before they leave a comment, especially if they're leaving it kind of as a burn, you know? But, you know, people are gonna do what they're gonna do. So I just wanna let you guys know that I really appreciate all of you watching. I appreciate all the positive feedback from those of you who have been just following the following. A lot of you also seem to appreciate the clips from Kimberly Crenshaw. Also, check the description box in that video and watch it if you haven't seen it. You can link to the entirety of those videos, both the Kimberly Crenshaw TED Talk and the Kimberly Crenshaw Lara Flanders appearance. Yeah, do it, you might learn something. So yeah, look for more videos like that, look for more page to stage, look for more of these updates in videos to come. And don't forget to tell me what you think. Nope, still no eyebrows. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. <laughs> Love yourself.
Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, big guns and dicky guys. I love myself, but they can do it.